Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Ian Morrison, incident meteorologist. I just want to go over a, a little briefing about the weather today and what we expect uh, tonight and the next uh, few days. So in the morning today, we still had some of those uh, easterly winds coming up over the ridge tops, and they were gusty at times up to 20 or 30 miles an hour over those ridge tops. And we also had very low relative humidity and a very unstable atmosphere. But by the afternoon, those winds shifted and became uh, and less in speed, and they shifted out of the southwest, and they drove the smoke off to the northeast. But we still had the low RH and the really unstable atmosphere, so we had a very active uh, burning period in the afternoon. Now into tonight, those winds are to decrease some more, and they're going to shift out of the northwest. The RHs are going to come up some, so that, that's good. That'll uh, temper the fire some and we should see much less activity into tomorrow with um, we're going to have warm and dry tomorrow so there will be some kind of uh, some fire weather criteria met but it will not be nearly as much as it has been the last few days now let's hand it off and talk about some of what the fire has done and what we expect it to do with adam thank you ian good afternoon my name is adam veal i'm the incident commander trainee um, so let's talk about what wind does and when it does slow down. Our fire this afternoon went from a wind-driven fire and then it slowly changed to a terrain-driven fire. And that's to do because the speed of the winds decreased enough that our fire behavior started just following the normal typical drainages that we're accustomed to around here. That gives us an opportunity to be defensible with where our perimeter and control lines are. So if you look over here to the town of Oak Ridge, which everybody's very familiar with, we started looking at this area directly in here and looking at opportunities for burning out this afternoon. We started that burnout about a half an hour ago and what I've heard is they're taking it slow and so far they've been successful. And a lot of that has to do is the fact that the winds shifted and are now in our favor. With a wind that's coming out of the south and the west, that puts the winds at our back, which makes us that's, that's, a, that's a successful and very favorable way for us to burn because we're going to force our fire and the smoke back into the main fire itself. So that will progress through this afternoon. And I just want to give an also a, a little bit of an acknowledgement to our, our counterparts out there. This morning, we went into unified command with Oregon State Fire Marshal, which is the red team. And also with that, the defense board from Lane County uh, working underneath the Oregon State Fire Marshal. And that, to that took us to a total of six task force that showed up for structure protection around the community of Oak Ridge. By them doing that allowed us to focus on strictly focusing on the wildland fire because they could take the structure protection part. And, and when fires get this large and in this kind of landscape, it takes all the agencies working together to be successful. Um, with that, I hope you guys have a good evening. Thank you.